So we are at Buford Mountain Trail this weekend, and Flora and I, my friend Flora and I, are going to start the loop right now. We're at the trailhead. There are some prescribed burns going on, so there's lots of cars here. Um, there's Flora. Uh, we did find some broken glass by the vehicle, so that's a little concerning. Worried that someone might try to break into the van, but I guess we're just going to say a prayer and a hope that it doesn't happen. And It is the second... Uh, what day is it today for? Today's the, the, third. the third, third of December, and it is 72 degrees outside. So beautiful we day. haven't, it's beautiful. We haven't started and I'm already hot. So <laughs> definitely not my kind of hiking weather, but it's beautiful. There are no leaves on the trees. So you can see for ages and ages out there. Um, so should be a great hike. We'll take you along. in and the first mile of Buford Mountain Trail um, straight up straight up really rocky um, but if you come I would highly recommend coming in the winter because tons of igneous rock I believe um, at least that's what that said on Wikipedia I don't know if you know your Missouri geography you probably are scolding me right now because I don't know the names of the rocks, but there's a ton of them and they're beautiful. Um, anyway, lots of uphill, but beautiful scenery. Um, we found a really neat camp spot uh, about half a mile back, but we want to go check out the bowl first up here to see if that's a better option for hiking. I mean, for camping tonight because it's supposed to be the crowning jewel of the trail is the bulb so we're gonna go check that out now and see if that's a good place to camp right now it's pretty smooth sailing the trail is really wide you can fit two people side by side i'd say about 80 percent of this is a really rocky terrain um poles are a good idea and then 20 percent just like we have right now pretty easy easy walk so i'll get back with you when we get to the bulb
original plan was going to be that we were going to um, continue the loop and come back and um, camp here. And then the more we sat around, we thought, well, we didn't want to um, have to rush to make it back for the sunset. So we just decided <laughs> at I think it was two o'clock to go ahead and set up our camp. We took a nice little nap, um, came in and, and hung out on the knob, had dinner, watched the sun go down, then built a fire. There's a great campsite right off the knob up here that has even a, a grated fire ring. Um, so you could cook on it and a uh, really great place to camp. And now I am up and waiting for the sun to come up. I'm sitting out on the knob right now. And of course the sun rise is on the other side. So not a great sunrise scenario, but I think as the sun comes up, it's gonna light up this um, valley and that could be, uh, makes for some really neat pictures. So it's beautiful out. It got cold last night. Um, it's just windy when you're on the top of a mountain. And I had some problems with my under quilt shifting and I've gotta get that figured out, but um, overall, a uh, very quiet night, beautiful to look at the stars, a uh, great, great place to camp. I highly recommend this mountain and that campsite. All right, as soon as the sun comes up, I'll show you what it looks like. Sitting here waiting for the sun to come up. I don't think we're gonna get a great view because we're on the side for the sun set, but it's still beautiful. Nonetheless, I forgot my gloves, <laughs> so I have my little down booties on for gloves because it's a little chilly out this morning. <laughs> but just waiting for the, the sun to come up and then we'll probably get going. good size uphill this morning to start our day. Whew. Up, up, up. miles from the car. We have completed the loop this morning and now it's just all downhill to the van that we are hoping will still be intact when we get there. <laughs> um, about the trail, uh, if you are planning on doing this trail, I would recommend that you plan to pack plenty of water. There are no good moving water sources on this trail. There's a couple like standing still stagnant ponds that you could use in a pinch, but um, no moving water where you can um, where you can get water. So you're just packing a lot of water. And then also lots of uphill, lots of uphill. So be prepared to go um, get your heart rate up. So um, uphill, no water, beautiful views at Bald Nam. Uh, great overall hike. I, I definitely recommend it. <laughs> 